Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here, hi, hello, I hope you'll stick around, subscribe to this channel for more vape videos, and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. You can find me outside of YouTube, like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You might want to follow me on those social medias because one, I do all of my vape giveaways over there, about one every week or every two weeks, because you're not allowed to do them here on YouTube. I also chat with you guys directly on Twitter. Pretty much every day and I like to post on Instagram story all day every day so be sure to check me out on those social medias if you're interested in getting in on the giveaways I also have a second channel here on YouTube where I do non vape related videos so if you want to come see my other hobbies and what else I do on the internet land I will link below to that and also a link to my patreon account that is a vape related patreon so it has monthly rewards that are e-liquids and mods and such but today we have a vape that is sent to me from directvapor.com. That is my favorite place to shop for vape stuff online. They sent me a Smack Stick V9 Max kit in red. And I know it's not Smack, I just say Smack because I'm sick of the smoke smock argument. So I'm just gonna say something that is completely wrong. I don't know how relatively new this is, but it is the Stick V9 Max. Like they are so bad at naming their stuff. So let's get into it. It does have a lot of information about the kit all around the box and then a authenticity scratch off code here. We'll take the sleeve off. We've got Smack right there on the front. One by one. I've got this one stuck in my head. So first right off, you see a do not eat packet. Really don't eat that. We've got a huge tank and a huge stick battery. Okay, so on the box, it looked way smaller. This is too much. It's this ginormous, you guys. Like, hi, hello. And this tank, oh my gosh. Can they just, it's so funny because like, Either vapes are like huge or like small, like the pod stuff. And then here is an extra coil. This is the Baby V2 S2 coil. This is a 0.15 ohm, good between 30 and 70 watts, but performs its best between 45 and 60. To show you what comes in the kit, we're going to pull up this piece and reveal what's underneath. Another do not eat packet. Spare O-rings and a spare gasket, a micro USB to USB charge cord, a warranty card and verification code, and the user's manual, which is just a fold out. Pretty simple. So here is the Stick V9 Max. We do have the diamond shaped fire button, five clicks to it. One, two, three, four, five. We'll turn it on and you can see the little light indicator. And on the other side, we have the micro USB port for charging. And at the top, we have a 510 threaded connection here. And on the bottom, there is one teeny tiny venting hole. Here is the tank it comes with and it is a bubble glass tank. And it has triple airflow slots at the bottom that are adjustable and on a stopper that can be fully closed. The 510 threaded pin at the bottom and the drip tip at top is removable, sort of. So you have to use the size drip tip for it, but you can change out the color. And then to fill it, there is a button right here. You just press that button and swivel it open. This takes two hands and I can't do it backwards in the camera, or maybe I can't do it at all. And then it does swivel open and there is the direction. It does say open, it tells you which way to swivel it. And you fill in that slot. Do not fill in the center. I'm filling the tank up with Cloud Kiss today. This is my flavor. It is a cake batter flavor. I love it. It's available at bonsaivapor.com. You can use my code TIA20 for 20% off. It's 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol, and available in 100 ml bottles at 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. So I'm not going to fill up the entire tank, but I am going to fill it enough to cover the juice flow holes of the coil because 8.5 mils is a lot and I'm not gonna vape all of that in one video. And I'm probably not going to use this vape after the video because I don't use stick style. This video is simply for you guys. So go ahead and attach it. I mean, it looks nice, like uniform, but then obviously the bubble glass does kind of stick out a little bit, but it's just, it's a huge, 
oh my gosh so let's find out more about this while i let the coil wick up and i might have to add some more juice to the tank after the coils had time to saturate so there's no wonder that this is a huge stick battery it is 4,000 milliamp hours of rechargeable battery in here and it comes with the s1 and s2 coils which are new i guess so we shall see it is installed with the baby v2 s1 coil which is a mesh coil with a wattage range of 40 to 80 watts but performs its best 60 to 70 watts this does come in a multitude of colors i think the red looks pretty flashy though so just the battery itself is 87.8 millimeters tall with a diameter of 28 millimeters and by itself it weighs about 133.5 grams the tank itself is 54 millimeters tall with a max diameter because of this bubble tank of 35 millimeters but the base of the tank would be 28 just like the battery since it does sit flush and to change the coil you just screw the top off and screw the coil out of the base. So you need to do that, I guess, when you don't have any e-liquid in there. The light on the fire button does indicate the battery level status while you're charging it. So there's like green, orange, or red. It does have protection features like short circuit, low voltage, and battery protection, which I do like protection features, which is why I mainly do just regulated mods on my channel. I don't think I've actually looked at an unregulated device in years. I'm excited to try the mesh coil. I do like mesh coils. It kind of, mesh kind of came onto the scene when I was pregnant, so <laughs> I didn't really get into it until just now. All right, shall we give it a vape? I'm a little bit intimidated because Smack is known for very intense cloud production, very forceful cloud production. But I can smell my e-liquid through the drip tip. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, that was like a two second vape, not even probably. It just keeps coming guys. So I like this actually. These are so much of an improvement over the TF or the TVF or TFV tanks because, and the coils, because these give you that like famous smoke cloud production smock smack whatever cloud production but it's not like choking me out and force feeding me vapor i'm honestly like when i'm vaping it i'm like you know maybe this isn't gonna be like a huge cloud production and then you start exhaling and you're like when is it gonna end Oh my. <laughs> Clouds, bitch. My flavor is delicious. I love, I am like all, so I've tried a handful of mesh coils and all of them really, really, really bring out my flavor. But this one especially. Right, so if you want a fog machine in the shape of a stick battery a hefty duty one then this would be the guy for you this is like i would get a tank band for this just because the bubble tank is ugly for one to me and very breaky like if it tips over it's hitting the glass first so this is one that i would like take on like a camping trip with me or a floating the river trip this is a this is a device that i wouldn't mind sacrificing to the vape gods if i like lost it on the river or if it broke camping which of course you can always just change glass if the glass breaks i feel like the the actual vape like the body and the battery are heavy duty and can withstand some some usage but this tank is just asking to be broken Whew. again oh hi where'd you go you guys can get this at directvapor.com with free shipping that's d-i-r-e-c-t-v-a-p-o-r.com let me know what you think about this guy in the comments below let's try to keep the comments appropriate i always get pretty inappropriate comments when i look at any vapes that are shaped like this but that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up
And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please learn how you can fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.